Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video. We have uh, understand the overview of uh, NICTB and what is the more contents of NICTB at the time of configuration, what things will be required in NICTB. So everything we have done the earlier video that we have completed the seven part of the NICTB. So this is the eighth part of the video. In this part, we will uh, configure in the real time, in the scenario, real scenario in the in our production environment, in our enterprise environment. So if you look at over here, I have Windows Server 2012 server over here, and uh, I have one server that uh, a DSU one. At, so IP is 192.168.1.5, right? And I have three NIC card over here. If you look at over here, go to dash. Sorry, if you use the local server over here, if you see it, I have three NIC card. The Ethernet zero, Ethernet one, Ethernet two, right? So I just go to the all server. For the configuration of NIC theming, you just right click over here, the server. over here and right click over the server so okay so we will get the NIC theming option over here just click over here so open the window it's online and if you look at over here I just maximize it so it is understand to I have three internet card which is contains one gbps per second right one gb per second this is what it's totally tr active for this configuration of nic teaming i have there is a no teams are configured uh, yet so if you want to configure the nic teaming create over the new teaming and give this nic teaming name i just give the uh, team one okay i just select all the ethernet cards and the press ok Okay, see here it's a saving. The you whatever the configuration you have done for the you've created one team, it's saving started, it's configuring right. So still it's not configured properly. It says wait for some time. It will configure. See one is activated and all these two also be activated. So wait for some time. So my service Windows Server 2012 R2. Right. So wait for some time. It will done. No issue wait for some time one is activated two is remaining okay. wait for some time just put it nice teaming see all are activated now okay it's internet zero is not activated and it ha we have created one team name is team one right so for that uh, i just one thing tell you if you open the command prop and type mcpa.cpl okay so see i have three ethernet card right we have seen so one more ethernet card is coming right it is uh, it's in microsoft network adapter right so what is it actually so actually this is when we configure the nic team we have created one team right this team one this is one from right okay just right click over here go to the properties and uh, here go to the properties okay just keep the ip 192.168.1.5 and the uh, dns address is 127 lubeg address we can give over here 0 .0 0.0.1 okay now we can see all this thing. Let's close it and uh, go to the client system command from okay try to think try to ping 192.168.1.5 okay start it's pinging right right for continue we can this command right so we can see where the uh, pockets will drop and where the connection will be drop right after disconnecting this so we have three nic cards over here my server is i2 i already show you my server ip is 5 right let's say we have configured the dns over here also right if i 
disconnect with these three are enabled right if i disconnect one card if i disable the card see if you go over here you can see so there is a no connection failure over here it's a continuous processing there is a no connection failure so that means what if one card will be fault i told you that one card will be failure the, it should not be affect on your environment right so it creates the fault tolerance it creates the load balancing right so this is what nic teaming is doing and the second thing again we just uh, disable another card also let's see is the connection see discrepancy just let's check over here no again see the connection is same so there is no drop nothing is there the connection is there so continuous process is there so in our unknown this thing is required right so one thing will be down saying the second thing will be up so this is what exactly an ic teaming guys okay if if you go over here and if i disable last one then the function won't be work it should be see the request timeout if i enable one more card over here the again the wait see wait for some time see again the things will come so we, we learn here we have a three nic card if one will be down it will taking the connection from other if again the another will be down it will can taking the connection from third one available and it's got so definitely it creates the you know the load balancing what we call right so we just overview the things in server also i hope you understand these things right so uh, before configuring the nic teaming there was only the three cards but when we configure the nic teaming one so it come this kind of microsoft network network come right we just configured giving the ip over here nothing else right so we just enable all this uh, cards over here all the cards over here okay wait for some time it enabling and uh, again we will go to over here and as chimi okay now it's active wait for some time it will activate no issue okay so i hope you understand the nic teaming over here if uh, whenever we configure the nic teaming i didn't show you over this thing so let's come the new team if i make over here and uh, if go to the additional option we, what i discussed in the teaming mode and the load balancing mode over here uh, you can create the teaming mode in static switch independent and the lacp what i already explain all these things on this previous video right in the load balancing mode also we can create the dynamic hyper b port and address has right i hope you understand very well and uh, you can give this uh, there is uh, this is active because there is no nic card over here this is the reason it's uh, deactive but uh, the you can create the i told you the active and the standby mode right the option will be come up here which one to take the standby mode or active mode over here also right so i hope you understand all these things uh, uh, thanks for watching this video and the next part we will uh, I will explain to you how to add the NIC, NIC team and how to remove the uh, network card on the NIC team. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. Again, I just remem remind you if you like this video, please do not forget to like the video. And if you want to give any comments, any question, please put on comments. If you wanted to get video on your mail, please subscribe this video. Again, thanks for watching this video.